Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at Azure subscriptions. So an Azure subscription, I would describe as uh, the equivalent of saying my Azure account. Uh, I don't know why they use the term subscription because to me it's just confusing, um, but uh, I always just try to reinforce that it's just your account. Uh, and there are four tiers of Azure subscriptions. The first is the free subscription. So when you first sign up, uh, this is the, the account that you or subscription you're going to have. You have to provide a credit card to complete the process. You're going to get 200 USD credits free for 30 days. And certain Azure products will be free for 12 months. Now, um, the whole point of this free subscription is to help you avoid charges. And there are some limitations. I remember when I was trying to add another user, um, I couldn't grant them access, so there was definitely some uh, some limitations here to pre uh, to prevent you from being charged. But it's not a, a complete sandbox, so it is possible to get charged and count if you start using things outside uh, the free tier or if you burn through your credits. So just be careful there. And then once you are ready to switch or, or to upgrade and unlock everything, then you can switch to pay as you go subscription, also abbreviated to P A Y G. Um, some people might call that on demand. And so uh, for this, you still need a credit card required, but since you've already entered it in the free subscription stage, no problem here. Uh, and you're gonna be charged at the end of the month based on, on consumed cloud resources. Then you have an enterprise agreement. So if you are an enterprise, you can uh, make a deal with Azure and agree to receive a discounted price for licenses and cloud service, but I bet you're paying a lot of money um, like compared to the uh, uh, a normal person, but the deal is worth it for you. So just be aware, if you're an enterprise, go talk to Azure, they wanna make a deal. Uh, and the last is the student subscription. So the student subscription, you do not require a credit card. You get $100 USD credits for 12 months, but it requires a valid student email. So there is a little bit of a vetting process there. So uh, you, you definitely have to be in school to get that, but it is a very nice option to have. So there you go. That is the Azure subscription models.